Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about so solving separable first order differential equations. Um, so you may encounter these in uh, usually a Calc 2 or Calc 3 class. You obviously also see them in differential equations classes. Um, and a first order differential equation is just an equation that basically has a derivative dy dx, a first derivative, equal to some function involving x's and y's. Um, it's called separable if that function of um, x and y can be written as a product of x's and a product of y's, basically. Okay, so solving separable equations are about the easiest of differentiable equations. Um, but <laughs> never hurts to do a couple. So this is the idea. Basically, get all your x's on one side, all your y's on the other, and integrate you want your dx's out of the denominator so the first thing I'm going to multiply both sides of this by my dx so I'll have x squared plus 1 dy equals x times y dx okay I want to get the x's on one side so I'm going to divide both sides by x squared plus 1 by x squared plus 1 I'm also going to divide both sides by y at the same time on the left side, then, I'll be left with 1 over y dy. And then on the right side, I'm left with x over x squared plus 1 dx. Okay, and again, with a, um, with a differential equation, all you're basically trying to do is find out a solution to that equation, which is going to be a function... Um, which is just going to be a function. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're basically trying to integrate, and if possible, solve for y. That'll be our solution. Um, sometimes it's not always possible to do that, but that's okay. Um, so at this point, all we really do is integrate both sides. Well, if you integrate the left side, you get the natural logarithm of y. Um, you know, normally you tag on a plus c. We can just plug it onto one side or the other. To integrate the right side, I would have to do a u substitution. I would let u equal x squared plus 1. du would be 2x dx. So then I would get 1 half du equals x dx. So then when I go to integrate, it says really I'm going to be integrating, well, x dx is replaced by the 1 half du. And then I'm just going to have 1 over u left over. So when I integrate both sides, again on the left I already have the natural logarithm of y. I'm done with that. On the right I'll get one half the natural logarithm of u. But remember u is x squared plus 1 plus c. Now if possible, usually what you'll do on these is try to, again, get it in terms of y. Okay, so I'm going to get this in terms of y here real quick. And remember to get something, to get rid of natural logarithms, you exponentiate both sides. So I'm going to take e raised to the natural logarithm of y, and then I'm going to take e raised to the 1 half natural logarithm of x squared plus 1 plus c. So we'll be left with absolute value of y equals. Remember the other trick, too. You can bring um, coefficients up as exponents on logarithms. So really, I'll have the logarithm, but the exponent of 1 half will turn into a square root. So I'll have the natural logarithm of x squared plus 1. I could write this times e raised to the c. Okay, So I could have written it as e to the part times the e to the c. Right, I could have written this as e to the 1 half, the natural logarithm of x squared plus 1 times e to the c, because with like bases, I add the exponents, and I would get this back. So on the first term, when it all cancels, I'm left with the 1 half, the one half of the natural logarithm. But again, the 1 half is going up as an exponent, which is a square root. There's my e to the c still left over. A lot of times, I don't know, books will always replace this. They'll say, let e equal a to the c, so that your final answer is some number a times the natural logarithm of the square root of x squared plus 1, absolute value of y, um, where a equals e to the c. All right, and that would be your solution in this case. Okay, so the idea is you basically separate them out 
and just integrate each side individually. So um, I'm going to do uh, another one uh, similar to this, a little more complicated just because the integration is a little more complicated.